Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Republicans are ripping Biden's plan to give half a million illegal immigrant citizenship as a feckless election year move that actually incentivizes illegal crossings. On Tuesday afternoon, Biden rolled out a new policy that would allow roughly 500,000 undocumented spouses of U.S. citizens a pathway to citizenship if they've lived in the country for at least 10 years. Biden suggested the election year move was happening this summer to prevent some of the deportations that Trump has pledged should he be victorious in the fall. But top GOP lawmakers are exclusively told DailyMail.com that the plan will act as a magnet to draw more people to cross into the U.S. illegally. Every time Biden does something like this, he invites more and more people to come here illegally, Senator John Barrasso, Republican Wyoming, exclusively told DailyMail.com. So this is all part of the catch and release incentives that the Biden administration is giving these illegal immigrants. And today he did another half a million illegal immigrants have provided amnesty for them. Democrats on the Senate floor again and again, vote to allow this to continue on. You're letting into the country criminals, drug dealers, murderers and terrorists that we now know of, and they let 10 million illegal immigrants into the country. Another top Senate Republican, John Cornyn of Texas, also ripped the announcement for acting as a lure to potential migrants. This is a huge magnet and draw factor, he exclusively told DailyMail.com, adding it incentivizes more and more people to come. He said Democrats are just helplessly confused about what what border border security means, and really undermining their own stated objective to try to bring it under some control. So I think it's a big mistake, Cornyn continued. Both Republicans mentioned Biden's recent executive order aimed at stemming the flow of illegal crossings by disallowing asylum cases for migrants who cross illegally. They said the order came too little too late, and that the mass asylum program for spouses contradicts last week's action by Biden. It's amazing to me that President Biden says after 94 executive orders, dismantling all of the border security measures that President Trump put in place, he issued his 95th, during which he said he was finally getting tough on border security, Cornyn noted. Then a few days later, he turns around and says 500,000 people who came into the country illegally can stay and get on a pathway to citizenship. Democrats, meanwhile, celebrated the president's plan as a victory. Today, Biden announces the most significant relief for immigrants since DACA, protections for undocumented spouses of citizens, to make them eligible for work permits, to help keep families together, to affirm American values, a land of opportunity for people who want to contribute, Senate leader Chuck Schumer, Democrat New York, posted on X. Representative Sarah Jacobs, Democrat California, similarly posted on X Tuesday afternoon. This is the biggest immigration victory since DACA, allowing undocumented spouses and stepchildren of U.S. citizens to breathe easier and stay legally in the U.S. This is a big win for humane immigration reform and keeping families together. In the White House on Tuesday, Biden celebrated the policy and ripped former President Donald Trump. When he was president he separated families and children at the border, Biden recalled. And now he's proposing to rip spouses and children from their families and homes and communities and put them in detention camps. The MIF Democrat continued, he's actually saying these things. It's hard to believe it's being said. He's actually saying these things out loud. Tuesday's announcement came after earlier this month Biden made a move to shut down U.S.-Mexico border crossings by barring most migrants from being able to claim asylum if they came into the U.S. that way. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre denied that Tuesday's move to help spouses, which coincided with the 15-year anniversary of the DACA program, was to provide a counterbalance to the controversial asylum plan.